All right, YouTube, what is going on, guys? David Hammond, beautiful Mother Nature, and in today's tutorial, we're speaking of how to make average-looking places look better, look more aesthetic. Um, and when I mean average, I mean they're just that. They're average. They're not completely ugly, but they're not beautiful by any means. They're just maybe you're in a trail, or maybe you're at a little tiny, you know, a little stream or a little waterfall, or just things that are meh, but you just want to beef them up, okay? Because we're all going to run into these... Uh, you know, circumstances when we shoot video. So let's get straight to this. The first tip I would give would be to add layers of depth, okay? What I mean by this is in any area you have, any average area, you're able to add sense of depth, right? Layers of depth. So if that means maybe you're in, I'm just gonna use my example at Tiffany Falls. If you're in a little area with a small little stream-like waterfall, right? It's nothing crazy. Um, maybe if you can stand behind things, right, and get reveal shots of that, just adding layers of depth, whether that means maybe you're behind a log shooting up, maybe you're behind a little staircase, maybe you're in like a garage or like a parking lot, maybe you're behind pillars, it does not matter. Any average place has these things that you can use to add layers of depth to your shot. It's just much more aesthetic to our eye. We naturally love things that are far. We love looking down tunnels, holes, things with depth is just very attractive to us, okay? So the second thing, the second tip I would give with improving your video work is to get super, super close shots. Get those really, really close intimate shots. And again, this can be in any average place. It can be whether you're at that stream like waterfall, you can be in a garage, you can be in, in a trail, maybe you're downtown somewhere. You can get super up close to anything, right? So find anything you can find that looks somewhat cool, has somewhat cool of a texture, and just get some shots of it super up close. It just makes that that video clip so much more interesting because normally we wouldn't really look at these things, right? If we're in that area, we might not go up to that physically and look that close, but so showing that on the lens might be very attractive to us. It's something we haven't seen before, which mixes things up, okay? Um, that's the second tool or tip that I look out for. And the third thing I look out for when doing these video clips, trying to make these average places, or really just any place, look better. Maybe you're shooting a great place, you wanna make that great place look even better, right? That's, that's kind of what I'm saying here, you just wanna improve it, right? The third technique I would give is going to be, I almost forgot it, it's gonna be color grading, okay? Now, I know this is something that kind of freaked me out at first, I thought it was super complex, and I know it's something that kind of intimidates a lot of people, I feel like. Um, it's not, it's simple. Color grading is very simple. Um, I say color grading, Color grading is basically changing the color, okay? So if I have my shot here, I may add warmth to it, I may add coolness to it, I may give it a certain tint, I may change the hues, the color of it, I may change the contrast, just you're changing the color, all right? The color, the lighting of that shot. Um, why this is so good is because you can take a place, let's say you're on a, it's a beautiful summer day, right? But it just happens to be a little, a little cold out, right? The sun's not too strong, it's kind of blue, the shot. You can warm up that shot. Okay, you can add some warmth to it, which is gonna give that feeling of a nice, beautiful, warm day, right? Vice versa, right? If you wanna add a different color, a different hue, you can manipulate and change that to make it look how you please, which can inevitably improve your uh, video. Um, yeah, that's it, so those are the three tips. I hope they can help you guys. Um, hope you guys dig this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. My name's David, I do videos all on the outdoors, photography, and videography, and would love to have you as a part of the fam. So that's it. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Much love. Peace.